Hey everyone, this is another video that looks at how to analyze some spring student course survey data that we have. In this case, we have over a thousand responses, so a lot of students replied. We have information on the teachers and that period associated with the teachers, and then we have over 50 questions about how they feel about the course and the class and the teacher. And so in this video, I want to show how do you get information that would break down by teacher? So how did students feel, for example, how comfortable were students participating in teachers one's class versus these other teachers? So how do these things um, break down on this scale? So how to do that is we will use pivot tables. OK, and so to start out, I'm going to select all of the data and I'll do insert pivot table and I'm going to do it to a new sheet so that it, it gets its own section. OK, and now in this case, we can generate lots of pivot tables, given that it's uh, the Google Sheets here is taking all the information and it's it's providing it here, all these variables that we have. And it gives some suggestions here, but I, I want to create my own where I want to look at by teacher. How did students respond on this comfort scale, how comfortable students were participating? So on my rows, I'd like to know who the teachers are. OK, so I'm going to have all my teachers here, teacher one, and it looks like we have uh, 46 teachers that have replied. Is that right? Yeah, 46. OK, and then on my column. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this comfort. All right, so we can see that we get the scale of neither uncomfortable somewhat. It's it's doing it uh, sort of sorting it alphabetically, um, which is okay. We can we can play around with that in a minute. But notice that nothing's populated here. So what do I want in my values? Is I also want to click on how comfortable students feel. So now I'm going to get the count for how many for teacher one, for example, felt were neither uncomfortable. They're sort of in this middle category. Fourteen were somewhat comfortable. Um, there were five that were somewhat uncomfortable, 22 were very comfortable, and nine were very uncomfortable for a total of 56 responses for that teacher on this item, okay? So this is our pivot table. Um, the numbers, though, could be a little deceiving because notice we have some teachers, like this teacher had 56 responses, that's quite high. This teacher only had three. So one way to sort of standardize that, I mean, it's good to know that. It would be good to just know our count of how many replied. But one way to make this table uh, a little more standardized across our teachers, given that these numbers vary, could be to change this from a count uh, the values that we want to see to a percentage. Oh, excuse me, here. We want the percent of the row. Okay, so now you can see, again, for teacher one, 10% were in that middle category, 25% were somewhat comfortable, 9% uh, or so were somewhat uncomfortable, 40% were very, and 16% were very uncomfortable. Okay, so that kind of gets you a breakdown by teacher of how they felt. All right. Now, one thing that bugs me a little bit is the sorting, and there's not a great way to sort these by, for example, very uncomfortable to very comfortable within this. It, it, it'll let you change how it's sorted, but it's usually by a value. It's not by or by alphabetical. Uh, it's not by how we think of these scales. So to do that, what we want to do is we'll select this information and we're going to create a new sheet and instead we're going to paste special of our values only. OK, so now I've got that same pivot table, but it's unlinked to the data. So I can change these things now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this middle category. I'm going to move it out and I want to start with uh, very uncomfortable in column B. And then we want somewhat uncomfortable next. We'll have this middle column. I'm just rearranging these. And then I want my somewhat comfortable and my very comfortable. OK, and I don't really need the total. I don't need that column. OK, so now we've got this distribution uh, by the scale that makes sense to us, at least makes sense to me. And these, uh, you know, it's something we can do is just um, wrap this if we want and center it. This is just formatting. Um, but now we can see from very uncomfortable to very comfortable how things are distributed. But there's still a lot of numbers here. So what we can do to add a little um, visual aid to help us interpret these data quicker on this scale is we can select all the data and we can um, do some conditional formatting. OK, so we'll click Format, Conditional Formatting. And we want some color scale. Now, you can all play around with how you want that color scale to be. Um, I think this red to green one is kind of nice because it lets us see where we have the lowest value to the highest value. All right. And it just lets us quickly look by teacher. And of course, you would have the names of these teachers by where their distribution lied. So in this case, teacher 16, right? Teacher um, 17, they have a majority of their students very comfortable in this class. Um, the fact that these teachers have fewer percentages that are very comfortable, maybe something to look at, like this teacher here, teacher four, has most of their students in that uncomfortable zone. We have 100% of students for teacher 44 here that put somewhat uncomfortable. Now, again, we've stripped this of the numbers of respondents. So that's also something to think about. If that teacher only had three respondents, those three students all pick that. So you have to kind of contextualize it. But this at least provides you with a way on this question of how comfortable students feel of how it breaks down by teacher. Now, we did just one of 56 items <laughs> that you could do. So there's quite a bit here. You could keep doing this sort of process of creating these tables to look at it. Um, and so it's, it's one way to go about doing this. And you could pick the question that you are most interested in learning about, or it's, it's just a lot of analysis, a lot of these sheets that you might create. Um, but this is a way of going about analyzing it. I have other videos that'll show you in particular how to use Looker Studio to create some dashboards that maybe will make this process a little quicker.